I quit my job. And why? Why? You know, Miss Queen, why? Hey, it's me, Miss Queen Eats, and I'm back with another video. I know, I haven't been there a long time at all. I do have another job in place, and it's remote. But, um, the only reason why, I, there's a lot of reason why, because I wasn't feeling like the job was for me. Um, and I could, I could definitely do it, you know. I could definitely do uh, payroll processing. Obviously, I could do it. And you can do anything you put your mind to, but it's not like that. I just can't stand in office. I was like, let me just try it to see if it works, to see if I like it or whatever. Just give it a try because I haven't worked in office in ages. I haven't been nobody office in a long time. And so it's like, mm, let me just get out of the house because I've worked remote for two years and then I was unemployed for years. So like, I didn't really nobody's gonna like going into office you know and being around people like around people i am like everybody's like oh miss queen you're a people person blah 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 like yeah i, I talk a lot and <laughs> i have the gift for gap i have very good customer service skills um and i'm very personal but being in the office with people like in training really it has been a while since i went to class and like learned anything um it's just difficult. It was difficult for me being around people. And it was very difficult because then I had to handle people's personalities and all these extra noises of people making class. Like, it was just really distracting to me and irritating because I have ADHD and I'm very, like, I have anxiety very bad. And, like, it, it's just not the whole thing learning something new, but it was just like, and I hate driving. Like, going into office and driving to work, I was like, hmm, dealing with people on the road, can I tell ya? It took me 30 minutes to go to work and 30 minutes to come back. So, I was like, mm, mm, mm. I had to drive 30 minutes there, sometimes a little longer depending on traffic. And it was very stressful for me because me, I hate driving. I can't stand driving. I don't know about you. Miss Queen don't like driving, okay? I don't like driving. We're not eating today for a reason. We're going to eat in the next video. Next up, this is sit down for y'all. So, yeah. It's very stressful for me for driving, especially in the wintertime. I don't want to be leaving the house driving, getting the accidents and seeing accidents. Like today, when I went to work to um, drop off my stuff, I was like, I had, I, I um, passed five cops, which cops don't bother me at all, because I drive like a grandma. <laughs> I'm like, y'all go rocky girl, okay? If you want to speed, that's on you, boo-boo. But we're not going to be late for work, honey. But yeah, it was nice. It's nice getting to know people, meeting people, and having the experience of leaving the office. And I've had a kid with before. But when you work remote, like, I was like, maybe I should get out of the house, you know, because <laughs> at the work remote um, for so long, you just want to get out of the house, you know, um, see what it's like. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I went back to my old job, and I'm grateful that for that they took me back, you know, because a lot of jobs don't do that. And I had a bomb supervisor. He was awesome, okay? And I was just like, I can't. I hate giving him bad. I can't. How do I give him this bad news? Like, how do I be like, um, how do I be like, I'm, you know, I'm not coming back. Like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to be that person, like, you know, that just starts a job and doesn't finish. Learn from my mistake, but you have to take care of you because my mental health, learning second week of training, right? I was coming home to work crying because I'm like, I, I can't do this, you know. But I, I'm like, I could do this. I can do it. But it was just like the, the whole day, my anxiety was getting to me, like with the people. And then, like, we had to answer stuff in class. I'm like, what am I going to do in college? Because when I go to co when I go to school, what I'm going to have to 
like full tank fully class online, but when I go in person, I'm going to have to like answer questions in front of people and I'm going to have to be wrong. <laughs> and when I'm wrong, I make mistakes. It's hard for me because um, I don't like being vulnerable I don't, in front of people and it's hard. It, it's also hard to learn something new. And kudos for you who, for the people who do go into office and who learn something new because they will go to, to the office every day, no matter how far their, the office is, you know. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I would have been the best payroll specialist ever, but I was like, this is not for me. It's, it's not for me. I was, and I was stressed out every day, and, like, I didn't really show that on camera, but I had to tell y'all, like, I had bad days, like, and, you know, and I'm just not going to work a job where I'm not happy doing and then and my supervisor was like, you know, um, you're great at customer service. You like great customer service skills. You could do this. I'm like, I know I can do it. It's just in the par office part I hate. And I was like, you know, I just can't. Like, I hate being around people. I don't know if it was COVID that did this to me. But I'm like, ever since COVID, I'm like, I cannot. I just, and everything irritates me. Like, when... <laughs> And it's not just that I can't stand public restaurants. I was telling six in charge about this. Bitches are so nasty. I'm trying to tell you, like, I should not see what you did before me in the bathroom, honey. You need to you need to flush the toilet, first of all. Flush that damn toilet, because that's one thing. And then don't wash your hands for 20 seconds. No, I didn't at first either, but you be trying to rush to go back to your boss or whatever, your cubicle, whatever. Man, my turn. I'm not trying to help somebody else out who want. I'm not trying to discourage anybody from going in office. Go in office, experience it. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. It is what it is. And they're like, "Oh, you're so we watch you on YouTube." I can talk in front of the camera all day. Okay, I can talk to y'all all day. But when it comes to in person, um, this is difficult for me to explain things to people. It's difficult for me to talk. Especially like in a group, and it's a, it was a small group too. <laughs> but um, it's just dealing with other people's other with people. I'm gonna have to work on that though. But I do have another opportunity that's remote coming in, and I'm like, dang, I'm like, is it really? I, am I really? Like sometimes I think like. Is it really meant for me to work for other people? <laughs> Honestly, I don't like working for other people, but I like learning new things. And I know I'm not right. You know, going through these experiences with working with different people and going to, you know, interviews and different jobs, it's like, you're not right all the time, honey. And, you know, you have to deal with other people. Like, that's life. Like, even at home, even, like, remote. Yeah, we're on a computer, but you have to deal with other people. <laughs> you may not see them, like, face-to-face, -face, like, or in person, but you're going to have to turn on that camera, and you're going to have to talk. I've been working for a long time. I've, I've had jobs. I've had a lot of jobs. <laughs> I'm trying to find something long-term long, long -term in, like, a career, and it's been hard. Maybe I'm just making it difficult. You know, I'm just like, ugh. but I'm glad I'm had the option to do this because some people don't, and it's really hard these days in this economy to go from job to job. Like you can't back in the day, you used to be able to get up and get a job, get up, and you used to be able to get a new job, but now you can't do that. The economy sucks. So to encourage everybody else who wants to go in off, go in office for real, try it. Try a new thing. See if you like it. See if it's for you. It didn't have nothing to do with my trainers. You know, there's things that they could work on, but that's them. You know, obviously there's things that my classmates could work on, but that's, you know, that's in due time. But I am learning about, a lot about myself throughout this experience. I'm also learning that I am very controlling. But I knew the, I knew the, okay? Um, but, 
when you're in an environment with other people, you're going to have to deal with some stuff. But yeah, this is like my little testimony or whatever. It's just, it's remote for me. Everybody can't do it in the office. And I'm just one of those people. I'm an introvert, but I'm very outgoing. I'm outgoing. I love people. But then also, like, I don't like people. And then also, I don't want to be outside. I want to be in the house. Like, you know, at the time. But, Miss Queen East is going to be honest, strictly honest. There ain't no food today. We just walked in. But I was like, um, I'll figure it out, y'all. I'll, I'll, get, they, I'll get it together. Like, <laughs> this is just an experience. And hopefully this next job is like long term. Because I'm used to working in healthcare. But it don't matter what I'm doing, if, who I'm helping. Um, as long as I can help somebody, that's all that matters. As long as my job, I know my job, I've done my job, and I have helped that person, that's all that matters. Period. I'm about to start this podcast, too. I'm about to start me a podcast and um, get with my friend, Jose. We're going to get it together because I'm like, mm -mm. like, you learn a lot about yourself, like this season. And I never thought, y'all. And I watched so many YouTube videos. Do you know being a waitress, you have to have years, like five plus years of experience. One white guy, he went out, got a job as a as a server, an interview, and they told him he didn't have enough experience. And this man is living in his car making YouTube videos. Can I tell you if I had to live in my car, I would. I'd pack up all my shit, put send my stuff to Goodwill, and I would live in my car all day. I would, actually, if I had to, you know. Like sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but I'm like, that's crazy. You gotta have a waitressing experience. I worked in restaurants before, okay. We well, had, had no hosting experience, our waitressing experience, our busting experience, okay. <laughs> busting tables, <laughs> ain't no experience to bust tables. I'm trying to say, ain't no experience to serve. All you gotta do is stand there, hand him. Now it's hard to hold on all that food and stuff. I could, I could give him that. You gotta hold all that food like this with a smile, here you go, and not drop it. That takes skill. So, so yeah, Miss Queen just wanted to come over here and talk a few minutes and just, I don't know how far this, how many views this video going to be it, but hopefully, if y'all got to quit y'all job, if y'all feel like, I, um, let me post this, I want to post something that I saw on LinkedIn for y'all, a post, and I hope I can find it, about people who quit in week two or week one of their training and honestly i'm just figuring out what's for right for me what's best for miss queens what's best for me in this career field when i go back to college i'm really gonna have to figure out what i want to do i have an idea of what i want to do but i'm trusting god <laughs> always put my best foot forward and I'm getting out there. And I'm getting it. Thankfully, I do have family support. But I don't have that either. So, um, I'm ready for that too. But, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below and say, Sis, I'm the real MVP. Because you know you are the real MVP, honey. And hit that like button for your girl. Make sure you join the fan band, hit that subscribe button for your hit that bell notifications for future videos from one and comment down below because you know I don't know honey share me out share me out to everybody you know and I tell y'all I really cried about this decision I made a decision and I actually cried and I said I cried that's been time and I said you know what God got me I'm gonna be good regardless but this, this next opportunity is just gonna have to last Honestly, yeah, the job market sucks. It's not state New York. I don't know where it sucks at you, where you at, but it sucks here. <laughs> but guys, guys, we good. We good. I hope y'all enjoyed this little sit down. And your girl will be. Oh, you know what? I will. I'll be back with a couple of videos. Yeah, I'll be back with a Domino's video. Um. 
surprise, a sponsor by YouTube, and a collaboration, a taco collaboration with Auntie Angelique's Picky Palette, Annabelle TV, Lady Red ASMR. We coming for y'all. Y'all know what to do. As always, peace, love, and hair freeze. All day or day, baby. Till another one.